What is up Shark Army, it's me GameShark and welcome back to another, another video. video! Today I'm back in Stardew Valley and I've got something exciting to show you guys. This is the gigantic amazing expansion mod for Stardew Valley. This adds tons of new stuff to the game. We've got new areas to explore. We've got new NPCs with loads of new dialogue and cutscenes and stories. There is so much to check out on the expansion farm. This is the greatest mod for Stardew Valley out there. I'll put all the links down below if you want to check this out yourself. It's quite simple to install. It looks good and I've never played it or tried it out myself. So this is what this video is all about. And this is a showcase for the expansion mod for Stardew Valley. So I've made a new farm. Uh, we're on the Riverland farm. We are a female character because I've never played a female in this game before. So something different. And her name is Sharkette. And she's got a nice red ear. She looks kind of cool. So let's go and explore. You have won a subscription to our Angler's Guide with fishing tips for the season. You will be receiving an issue for our magazine on the 10th of every month. Nice. So there is new fish in the game that we can catch, there's new crops that we can grow. There's so much stuff guys, it is amazing. I've fully modded this out and I'm tempted to do a modded playthrough series by using all of these mods, especially the expansion. So I don't know if you guys want to see that, but I'd really like to do it. A brand new playthrough series of Stardew Valley, fully modded with loads of new things to the game. If you guys do want to see that, please hit the like button down below and drop a comment and I would definitely do a series for this because it's going to be good. So we can go and see Willie, we've got to introduce ourselves as well at the start of everything but I'm not going to do that I'm going to save that for the playthrough right now I just want to go and have a little look around and as you can see it looks amazing we've got the flower valley mod as well so all the blossom on the trees and the flowers it looks insane now there is new areas that we can explore there's new shortcuts to make it a little bit more easier to navigate around for example if you go left here where you normally would go up from your farm as a bridge there there's a little shortcut now so we can walk straight up as you can see very simple very easy we've now got a signpost it just looks a lot nicer and easier to navigate so if we do go up to the mountain area obviously we haven't unlocked all of these areas just yet because this is a new farm but I'm intrigued to check out some of the new areas we can't get over that side either because of the big boulder i'm not sure if there's anything new added over there though i think it's just the quarry as normal where the boulder is where it's been removed there is the emerald farm it's a new place that we can check out so what i'm gonna do just for the showcase i'm gonna use the cheats menu and i'm gonna give us some money this is only a showcase so don't you worry guys we're gonna go to jojo once we work our way down there and i'm gonna buy some of these bundles and we will go and check out the new emerald farm which as you can see it's just up near the train station, so that'll be exciting to see. But first, let's go and check out some other new stuff. We'll work our way down to Jojo and see as well. So this area pretty much looks the same, just more pretty. I don't know if the bridges have changed or not. Can't remember what they were. Was they wooden ones before? I'm not too sure. So let's go down up where the community centre is. And as you can see, straight away, there's new places we can visit now. First, let's start off with the community centre area. We can uh, walk up here, we've got a nice little area. This is one of the boxes that's secretly lying around. So it's just a little place we can explore. There's uh, a table, picnic table behind there. And look at this. This place where it was just full of weeds is now used as like a, a cask and keg area. Residents here in Pelican Town use these kegs to turn their produce into wine and jelly. So basically it's like a community production area, which is pretty awesome. And look at this little fountain area. A nice little town centre bit here. Next to the park, we've got some nice benches and a good place for people to come and sit. And let's go and check out Hayley. Whereabouts is she going to go? Probably near the bush, like normal. Yeah. So she's chilling out there. That's pretty cool. It looks amazing. Some of the new benches that are around. Before we go down into the main town bit, though, look at the community centre. Wow. I think these are new in front. We can't get in there just yet, of course, but we will do soon. Now, if we go right here to the east side, you can now access straight to the bridge here by coming down it's all changed i don't think this used to be there before you used to come around the bridge and go back down but now you can actually come straight up so it's a lot quicker and easier and you can come across the bridge here and look at this guys we've got a little spa room or something like that i'll have to go and check that out in a second but this is joja before we go into the main town we'll go and check this out i might be able to buy the bundles now or i might have to sleep first actually 
So we'll get the membership, and obviously this is just easier than doing all the bundles. So tomorrow we'll be able to come down and buy some of those, and we'll get access to the, the other places. Because I want to show everything off to you guys on this expansion, because it's incredible. There's also some new NPCs that we've got to check out for as well. So for example, we have got, we've got a person here near Leah's house called Andy. And we've also got Victor, who's at the graveyard, and there should be some more as well. I'm not sure whereabouts they'll be hanging about now, because they do... Uh, like to get on with the days but i think there's three new npcs to check out now how do i get up here to the spa place can you access it or is it just visual i'm not sure how we get up there it says that there's some steps up there how do i access that maybe it's from the quarry it looks like it's the town eastie and there's like a bridge going across Ooh, i'll have to check that out I've never checked this out before, so it's all new. I've, I don't know my way around. It's quite confusing, but I can't believe how amazing this is. The person who made this mod, I can't remember the name. I'll put all the links down in the description. Has done such an amazing job. I, I can't get over it. So as we come further down to the blacksmith, as you can see, there's a little pond area now with a little bench that you can sit around. There's going to be more things to forage as well, of course. And this is the way we go to the new town area to the right, which we're going to do that tomorrow because I want to check out the main parts of the town first and it's getting dark. So of course, this is the library area. It's looking a lot different now. Look at this, we've got like a little community farm going here. We've got some uh, vegetables, community garden. This is amazing. So the community like Evelyn and all those people can come and do their little bits of uh, gardening for the community in the town, which I think is incredible as well. There's Clint's blacksmith. Don't know if a little bit has changed around there. I think it has. Now let's go into the main town bit. And let's see what things have changed down here. I've just fro froze the time for now because I don't want it to get too dark and you can't see anything. So the mayor's house is looking the same. We've got the new person here in the graveyard. And there's a new building here as well. Look at this. So this is Andy. No, sorry, not Andy. Victor. Uh, staring at the grave, he looks sad. So it looks like maybe someone's passed away. Dewey. He was only a cat, <laughs> but he was human enough to be a great comfort in hours of loneliness and pain. So it looks like Victor's just lost his cat, which is not, never good. So if we go here, we've got a new house. This must be Victor's house, maybe? He's got a nice little uh, dock and a boat, like going into the canal here. So let's go and see this house. Oh, what the hell? So this is the Adventures Guild house. He's moved it down here now. That is incredible. That's pretty cool. So obviously that's not going to be up here anymore. No, it's all changed. Interesting. Well, before we go west and south and the forest and stuff, let's go and check out the beach. Obviously we've got to see Willy as well. We'll skip this. I don't know if anything's changed on the beach. Not too sure about that. So this has all been knocked down. Can we go this way? Oh, we can. <gasps> Holy smoke. So this brings us out onto this new area which is the blue moon vineyard we've got sophia's house andy's house oh my god this is a completely new area um yeah well let's go and check this out and then obviously we've got to go and check out the town at the east here we've also got to check out the emerald farm up top this a new area i believe near the wizard's tower that we can check out as well andy's right down here Okay, there's quite a lot of things to check out. This mod is amazing. So let's go and have a, li a little exploration around here. Look how beautiful this place looks. So this is where the Adventures Guild house is now. As you can see, it goes above this new place where we've got some new residents and some new farm. Look at this big giant vineyard here, which is incredible. I love that. Can we access or build on there? Maybe even do a little bit of winemaking? This just looks incredible. We'll go up there in a second. We can even go further left or west. But let's just explore this section first. The vineyard looks incredible. We can actually dig these little spots here. So let's go and check out this uh, winery or house. Whoever lives here. Was it Sophia or something like that? And look at this on in all its glory. Scarecrows, it looks insane. The vineyard has been here for many years. Wow, look at this. What can we find down here? Oh, some copper ore. This looks so pretty. The modding community is one of the greatest for Stardew Valley, it really is. Grapes are cleaned and stomped in this stone well, which obviously is how wine is made. Uh, then then they placed into kegs with a special wine yeast to ferment. Let's, can we go inside here? Oh, it's locked. It opens. Oh, okay. It closes at 2 p.m. Luckily, we can change the time back, so let's see if it works now. Yes, and here we go. The new building just looks just like the rest of those. Nobody's home right now, I don't think. It's quite a big house, though. Oh, look at all the kegs in the the basement or the cellar or whatever you want to call it this is a true winery is anybody home hello is anybody home oh my god this place is huge 
So there's one bedroom there. Maybe some new people will get added to this mod. Maybe it gets updated. As of now, I don't think anybody's home. It's a ripped piece of paper from what looks like Sophia's diary. You know you shouldn't read it, but your curiosity gets better of you. Mum, Dad, I miss you both so much. There isn't a single day that goes by where I don't think about you two. Money isn't an issue for me. I wish you two were still here. I miss you, Mum and Dad. You probably shouldn't have read that. You put the ripped paper back where it was. So Sophia's moving here. She's moved to this little place on her own. She's made a, a winery place, a vineyard. She's making lots of money, but she misses her Mum and Dad. Uh, is she in the game? Can we see Sophia? If we go onto the social, as you can see, Victor's there. We've met him. Let's see if we can find some of the new people. Uh, this is somebody here. They look different. Maybe that's Sophia. As you can see, they've all got new outfits on as well, which is amazing. Oh, there's a new person here. I think that's Andy. And is that a new person? Is that Shane? Okay, so... We can't find her just yet, but let's keep exploring. And we've got lots to check out. So we can keep going west from here. As you can see, it goes down to the sewer pipe. And there's a, a new farm as well, where Han Andy lives. Fairhaven. And he's at the ruined house right now. So let's go and check that out. First, we can come down here. This looks a nice little area. Lost to forage as well, which is exciting. So let's keep going west. And here we are. I'll try and scout the old area. So this is obviously the south forest where you get the spring onions and stuff. Obviously, it's all changed now. This is where the sewers would be. Um, there's the sewers right there. So it's similar to what it was before, but now you can access it from a different side, which is awesome. And of course, we have got a new farm. The signpost says Pelican Town is north. We've got the Blue Moon Vineyard, where we've just been, which is east. And west is the Fairhaven Farm, which is just coming up to our left side. You can obviously go back up to where Leah's house is on these new bridges, going straight up. And here will be Leah's cottage. Is this Leah's? It looks like it to me. Yes, Leah's cottage is here. She's now got a little garden on herself, a little canal boat which obviously goes all the way through the town. A lot of people have those now who live by the canal and that's the to get back into the main town area. Okay, sorry about that cut guys. Something came up and I had to end the video there. So I'm back again recording it. I can't remember where we got to, but I knew we was at Marnie's Ranch. So let's carry on. So we did Leah's Cottage. So now we're walking up and this is of course Marnie's Ranch. It looks a little bit different. She's also got her own little garden too now. Seems like all the houses uh, the NPCs have their own little gardens and little mini farm plots, which is nice, you know, because they've got to produce their own food as well. Um, you can actually get in the back here. Oh my god, is this Shane's house? 9am, okay, we'll wait for that. That might be where Shane lives, or is it something to do with making mayonnaise, it seems? I don't know. But um, yeah, it's looking awesome, this is. I really, really like it. Can we get through the barn? Imagine if we can walk through and come out of the barn. That would be awesome. Let's have a look. Oh, it's too early. Let's wait till 9 o'clock, because we're not going to be able to access any houses. Oh, here's my boy Shane. Yeah, we can't access the houses until it gets a little bit later. Marnie's also got a shipping bin and her own little silo. It says that Marnie's got 214 bits of hay in it. Nice. Now, before we go into the Marnie's Ranch, look at this. There's a nice another, is this a communal garden again? Oh, it's Marnie's crop field. So Marnie can actually come out and plant some crops too in her little uh, crop field. That is awesome, right near the water. She's got a nice little place here. Marnie's one lucky girl, and so is the mayor. Okay, so it's nearly time now at nine o'clock, but let's just go this way, look at this. So the wizard's tower, where the wizard lives, is actually being moved more up towards the secret woods. I wonder if, I've just knocked the wood down, I wonder if anything new is changing in the secret woods. I don't think the would have, but we'll have a look anyway. It's always worth a check. Oh, slime is everywhere. Oh, oh get off me. Okay, so nothing has changed in the secret woods. I thought I'd just uh, give it a good look before. So let's go uh, south more and let's explore more of this area because we didn't meet, uh, leave this out. So we've got a strawberry field here. This is, what is this place? This is, this is where Andy lives. So this is the Fairhaven's crop field. So this is our boy, uh, Andy. He's got a Jojo hat on. Huh. Would you look at that? It's the new farm that everyone has been talking about. Finally moved into the valley, I see. Oh, this is awesome. It looks cool. I've been working on Fairhaven Farm here for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. You're Yoba darn lucky you got all that free land from your grandpa. I sure could use some more land to plant my crops. Yeah, we did get lucky. We got a good space. And here is his little uh, house. Oh, God. He's living rough. <laughs> oh, God. He looks a little bit like Shane. He's got beer bottles everywhere. He is a proper hillybilly farmer. Is that what they call him? Oh, oh look at this. We've got a cutscene with... The new guy. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it's the new farmer. How are you doing this fine sunny day? 
You caught me in the middle of tending to my crops. I'm applying some new Joja fertilizer to my crop field. It'll make my crops stronger and healthier. Oh god. Joja's got a new fertilizer? Go to Pierre's instead. Say, you're just starting out on the expansion farm. Well, I have something for you to help you out. Oh, okay. I have some strawberry seeds for you. Fairhaven Farm Strawberries have a good reputation in Grampleton and Chestervale, two new places, wow. So we actually got some strawberry seeds, that's amazing. I forgot them in my house, come talk to me later today, Sharkette. I'll have some strawberry seeds for you, oh okay, well maybe we'll get them later then. <laughs> I'll talk to you later today and give you those seeds. Okay, but well, why couldn't you just get them for me now, you know? So there we go, that is the Fairhaven's Farm, that is Andy, your boy. Now let's keep moving on down this way, we can access the south side of the forest by going across here. This is the little hat shop, it's still looking the same. Oh, there's a little like campfire spot here, look. The remains of a campfire where people drink. This is probably where Shane comes a lot, to be honest. Maybe Pam, Pam might join him too. Look, this is a big massive forest. There's actually lots of trees about. This looks more like a forest. Can we go down? No, okay. Well, this is awesome. So if you want some wood, this forest is definitely the place to come. And there's lots of forage items I'm seeing as well. So now let's go back up to the Wizard's Tower and see what's uh, going on up there. And then we're going to go into the middle of the town and have a look. And also we've got to go to, oh, Emerald Farm. In fact, after we've checked the Wizard's Tower, I need to buy the bundle to get that boulder removed. Because I want to go up to where the spa is and check out that new farm. So what's going to be up here now if the Wizard's Tower's not there? Oh, so it's just been moved a bit. So obviously, of course, he's got a giant cauliflower. Uh, he's got some crops going as well, just like everybody else. And here is the wizard. Oh, he's extended his house now. Look at this. We can actually go here. He's got like a nice kitchen area now as well. The bedroom. Looks like they've extended the, the tower. That's awesome. Wizard's tower is looking amazing. So, yeah, I think that's everything this side. Let's go and check out the last few stuff. And uh, we can start wrapping up this video. What a great showcase this is. If you guys enjoy and like these kind of mod showcase videos and then hit the like button let me know and I'll show off a lot more mods especially expansions like this I have done the Sundrop City I have done the island Mermaid Island and now we're doing the expansion uh, the Stardew Valley expansion so we're getting there we're doing quite good with these so let's go across the town we'll see what's new here and then we'll go and buy the new Joja bundle and we'll go check out Emerald Farm is that what it's called yep and then I also want to check out the town at the east and I don't think there's much more we can check out the houses are all the same, um, these have got some crops going in their gardens too. Oh look, they've got a new person here. This is, oh Olivia, look at her. Oh my, aren't you a cutie, welcome to the valley dear, oh wow. She looks like um, <laughs> a version of Pam, but just different colour here, maybe a little bit nicer. It's so exciting when someone new moves in. Have you met my son Victor? Oh, so Olivia is Victor's mum. So we met Victor earlier. Of course, Jodie's still looking beautiful though. You are the most beautiful lady in the in the town. Oh, look at this. Olivia actually joins Jodie's and Caroline's conversations in the morning. Look, hi Olivia. Oh my god. We've actually got dialogues too. That's pretty cool. So the Stardrop Saloon is still looking the same. We have got Granny Evelyn looking uh, nice and pretty tending the flowers. Of course, Pam's still got a little horrible trailer at the moment but of course in time we can change that and we can build her a nice new house which is awesome so as we come this way as you can see there's now a little uh, garden crop plot for Pierre's house too where he grows all his vegetables that makes sense now if we go up above granny and Evelyn's look at this there is a new building and this is where Victor and Olivia I think live the Jenkins residence so that must be their names oh there he is so this is Victor and his mum, of course. I need to go to Pierre's for groceries soon. I don't know why my mother doesn't just hire a butler already. So these are quite a rich family, I'm guessing. Look at this house. Wow. I want to marry Olivia. Look at this. What a beautiful place. It's like a mansion. Holy smokes. So Olivia's room is there and I'm guessing Victor's is here. I wonder if there are people you can actually marry in the game. That would be interesting to see. Um... Oh yes, you can look. Victor is single. I don't know about Olivia, no. So guys and girls, Victor is a new person that if you want to, you can actually potentially marry, which is amazing. And here he is, he's in the kitchen with his mam. What was his portrait look like again? I forgot. Okay, here he is, just a, he looks a little bit like a Sebastian lookalike, but a bit older and more sophisticated. <laughs> he's got his stuff together a bit more. Okay, let's move on. 
We've got a lot to check out on this side. We need to go to the new town east. And also I want to see the spa area. But first let's get this boulder moved. So of course it is the panning. And this will remove the boulder near the mine entrance. Oh no. Hold on. Which one do we want to get? Is it the, um, the broken bridge, the mine carts, bus stop? I don't know if this will actually unlock that. I don't know when that actually comes by. We'll have to have a look at that. I don't know when the spa unlocks. I think is it after a certain amount of days? I can't remember. But let's go to the new town. I really want to go and see Emerald Farm. I'm sure we can get up there. We can do it. We can do it. So here we go, guys. The new town. Holy crap. We've got a dialogue as well. Ah, <sighs> Sai. I'm showcasing it off. I mean, we've got to, right? It's a mess, though. Look at this. Oh, hello, Sharket. I was just on my way back from the Grampleton. I wonder where that is. That looks cool. I had some business with the mayor of the town concerning the new property tax laws. Oh, there's a new town and obviously a new law, new mayor. Wow. This crop field has been abandoned for quite some time. It used to be the community garden before we moved it below the library, of course, yeah. But with no one taking care of the field, it has slowly degraded over time. Oh, hopefully we can actually farm on here. How awesome would that be? It's a shame this is what travellers from Grampleton see when they, when they visit Pelican Town. And that's true. I know you have your hands full with your farm, but if you were to fix up this plot of land, you can have it. What did you What do you say, Shark? Yeah? So we get an extra plot of land. That is awesome. Uh, I can clean up and utilize this crop field. I don't think I have the time to manage. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take it because that's just going to be incredible. The residents of Pelican Town would truly appreciate it. You can get right to work on the field, Shark. Yeah? Thank you. So there we go. We've got a new place to farm some crops. A bit more space, which is perfect if we're on the Riverland farm because... We don't have much space on there. Uh, I've got some paperwork to do. These new tax laws are quite sophisticated. Have a nice day, Sharket. Yeah. Goodbye, the Mayor Lewis. And here we have it. So it's not big. By all means, it's um, a very small place. But you can get a good crop field going there, you know, of uh, some ancient fruit, some some star fruit or anything like that. And even in winter, get some, some crystal fruit. Um, it'll give you some good little income during the winter time. So we've got the railway cart going all the way across. I'm guessing it's going to be a new place that you can go through the mine carts, which is awesome. So we can go up here. Is there anything else around? Nope. Just a, a nice little plot of land on the way by. So now we can go to Shearwater Bridge. Wow. I'm excited. Let's go. Oh my God. Look at this. This is insane. I'm going to pause the time before it gets too, too dark. So there's a few forage items around here as well. We can go up. There's some more woods. So if you want some trees. Perfect. Can we go up? No. Nope. So let's cross this bridge with the massive river, which is dividing two towns. Obviously, Pelican Town and was it Gramp? Gramp something? <laughs> Grampleton or something? So look at this. Big bridge. Big lake. I wonder if you could fish. Nope. <laughs> we tried. And here we go. We go across. Got a dirt road, but lots of more trees. A big forest again. Wood is never going to be a problem anymore. You could even just do be a lumberjack and just get loads of wood and sell it. That could be your way of making money. It's not a bad idea. So let's go through the dirt track. This looks amazing. Uh, Grampleton Fields. Oh my god, can we actually enter Grampleton? Oh no, not just yet. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. So as you can see, if we look on the map, we are actually right up here in the top left corner, which we should be here. We've just crossed that bridge and obviously we can't get into the new town yet. Maybe in future updates or can you go there through the bus? That might be a good idea. We can check it out maybe. But right now we can only go to the fields, which is more forage, more trees. And it's pretty. It's incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep. We're going to check out that boulder, see if it gets removed. And maybe we can uh, go and check out Emerald Farm, which is the last place to see. I'm not sure if we've missed anything else, but there's still some more stuff to see yet. I, I want to check out the bus as well. Maybe repair that. We might be able to get to a new town by doing that. I'm not sure. So it's a new dawn. It's a new day. So let's go and check out where the quarry is. We'll uh, walk away around there. And we'll see what's changed in the quarry. Because obviously the Adventures Guild isn't there anymore. So I'm intrigued to see what's there now. So of course we can come up this way. We've not been up this way yet as well properly, have we? Obviously the new shortcut now, which is incredible. It's so convenient. Oh, there we go. There's the, the cutscene with Willy for the panning, which we might unlock the spa by doing this. I can't remember how we did that. Of course, I'm using mods to speed the showcase up, but I want to get up here and I forgot how we do it. But first, let me check out the quarry area and I'll see what that looks like. And then using the cheats menu, I'll spawn up into the spa. Obviously, we're not going to be able to get back out unless we spawn again and teleport, but that's fine as long as we can showcase it off. So this is the mine, of course. I get the cutscene over and done with. 
everything looks the same there and here we go of course the adventures guild has gone as you can see removed so now it's just left us some area of trees and forage I'm not sure why they moved that, I'm not sure, I mean it could have been a great place to keep it, it wasn't a bad place at all. So this is the quarry, nothing else has changed there, I'm wondering if you can maybe get down from there. I want to build that bridge and see, I don't know if we can get down from there or not. So I'm going to go to Jojo, I'm going to buy the bridge to the quarry and check that out. Um, the bus repair as well, in fact yeah we'll do the bus repair first. I want to see if we can actually maybe get to a new town, so bear with me. And here we are guys, we've spawned up to the spa house, of course, I don't think we can leave, because it's locked, but here we go. Obviously the spa house, the bathroom, the bath house, or whatever you want to call it, is still there. I don't think that's changed inside. I will double check. No, it's going to look like the same to me. But of course, look at this now, there's a new house. This is Emerald's Farm Crop Field, the produce grown here is shipped to various provinces around Ferngill Republic. Wow. And look at this, it's quite a big area. I don't know if anyone lives here or it's a bit empty right now. Holy smokes, look at this, a nice little house. Lots of kegs, they're producing lots of items and then they're shipping it around Ferngill. This looks incredible. So we can go up here, the train station is obviously still there, which looks amazing. Very pretty on this mod, it looks like a very nice train station. Nice little footpath going across here. And as you can see guys, there's a place we can go. We can go up, we can go north. Oh, look at this sword in the ground. You were about to pull the sword out of the ground, but you realise you should respect whoever laid their weapon there. Oh, this is a weird place. Look at this, we've got um, Elvish language. Unfortunately, you don't understand the Elvish, so you can't read the descriptions. An Adventure Guild crest. Oh my god, so this looks like some kind of place where the adventurers go. It's impossible to read the writing, but you can vaguely see an Adventure Guild crest. So maybe when you learn the, is it dwarf language, maybe we can understand a little bit more, but we can go all the way across here. Look, there's another footpath going up here. It goes around, lots of forage items. This is going up. I think I missed something down here though. This might take us up to the, like, the viewpoint that I call it. So let's go, is there anything up here that I miss? Oh no, okay. There's more swords though, look at this. Been here for decades. This looks like some kind of battlegrounds, there's something gone on, you know, dwarfs versus elves maybe, or god knows. So let's follow this footpath around and go up to the north point and see where it takes us, and I think, yes, look at this. Clouds are moving, that's pretty cool man. Nice tree, some forage items up here too, which is cool. Oh, we actually found the ancient sword. Wow, that's a cool artifact, that just lays there like that. And there we have it guys, I think that is about everything. I don't know if there's much more to show. What I wanna do is just check the bus, maybe maybe go and check the school cavern out and, what's this? Oh, the travel cart's there, okay, cool. Yeah, and uh, maybe see if we can get to a new town, I'm not too sure. But I don't think there's much more to say. Oh, it's Susan's house. Well, I haven't seen Susan. There must be some new people coming soon. Oh, you can only go to the desert? Oh, I was really hoping maybe you could go to one of these towns that they talk about. Oh, wow. Does the desert look different? It does. It's longer. What the hell? What the hell's happening right now? This is huge! Where's, where's it taking me? Oh, that was insane! It actually went across the desert! That was amazing! So the desert has changed too! As you can see, we went all the way back down the road there and it was huge! We can actually go back this way too! Wow! And there's lots to explore! Look at this! There's a... What's this? The school cavern is now here? Wow! Calcio Desert is absolutely different it's changed so much so let's go and explore and see what's to around so the school cabin's in the middle there now um, there's a lot more places to explore it's bigger that was a long drive as well which made sense look at the size of this cactus the cactus is huge knowing that this cactus will continue to grow larger fills you with determination can i chop it down <laughs> damn it Look how huge this place is, it just keeps going. So now this is the place where you go and get the galaxy sword. And if you don't know how to do that, you stand in between these, hold in a prismatic shard, and kabang! 
You have the best sword in the game. Thank me later. I'm sure everyone knows that already. Now we've got a gigantic lake where you can fish as well. Before it was a tiny little bit of a pond. I won't even call it a pond. It was so small. It was a little bit boring, but now we've got a huge place to fish. A big massive lake. And I've actually got the mod where you get new fish as well. So I'm wondering what new fish we can get in the desert. Nothing it seems. <laughs> We've got to fish a little bit longer for that, but there's nothing else around now. So this is where the dinosaur fossil is, which is part of a little mini quest you do with Mr. QI. Now, was there anything north? It's nice to see the desert change too. This is a lot bigger. Like I said, it's expanded. Expansion. So there's now a big pond. Oh, and there is the oasis. I was wondering where that was. And now it's got a nice little place. Look, lots of trees and paths around. There's the small pond that was originally there. And there's also another one here as well. And there we have it. That is the desert. Oh, look at this. We've got a new cutscene with Leah and a new farm plot. So, like I said, there is new cutscenes and dialogues in this as well, which is amazing. How they've managed to add this into the game too. Shocker, hello. It's such a lovely day today. I'm harvesting my green beans right now. Louis and Pierre were here a moment ago checking on some of their crops. Pelican's Town Community Garden is pretty nifty. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I like it. I can plant 30 times the amount of crops <laughs> grown here. I'm very thankful for this community garden. Oh, so this is not Leah, sorry. This is underneath the um, the library. This is the community garden. For some reason, I thought this was actually Leah's. Uh, I don't have much property to grow my own food. No, that's true. But thanks to this allotted plot of land, I can. So, yeah. Everyone can just grow their own little crops here and take what they want. It's pretty cool. Finally done harvesting all of my green beans. Now I need to decide what meal to cook with these tonight. Probably a green bean hot pot. Here's a freshly picked green bean. Thank, thanks a lot. The soil here in Stardew Valley is rich in nutrients. Crops never have issues growing to their full maturity if you take care of them. Well, I'm going to head off. It was nice talking to you, Sharkep. Nice little dialogues like that. They're awesome, you know, interacting with the NPCs. It's pretty cool. As you can see, there's like a new area. There's some steps that goes up there. There's a nice little area here. I really want to access it and go to it, but I just don't know how you get to it. There's some steps there as well. Where, where do we go? There's no way coming down from there. Maybe it's something that they're working on. I mean, Jojo truck's in the way, so I can't get up there. I have no idea about that. But guys, I think that is everything to showcase off. It's been quite a long video. Thank you all for sticking around if you did. But of course, this is a huge expansion. There's lots to showcase off. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's amazing. It's fun, super fun to have new things in the game. This is what we want to see in the future updates from Concerned Ape. You know, add new towns, new places, new NPCs maybe. I know that's a lot of work, but if the modding community can do it, surely the main developer can do it himself as well. All in, them, uh, in time. And it's obviously more exciting to see the original vanilla content, but it's also amazing to see some modded stuff as well. I mean, it's just as good in my opinion. So that is Stardew Valley Expansion. If you want to check it out yourself, like I said, it's down below in the description. You can do. And if you do want to see a playthrough series on this, we can choose a different farm layout, of course. With the expansion, with the new NPCs, we'll have new seeds, new items and crops and dialogue and uh, events and stuff like that. If you want to see me play through a Stardew Valley modded series, and we could always add new mods during the series in the playthrough as well. If a new mod comes out, we can add it. Obviously, it won't be cheats and stuff, only new items. And if you want to see that, then just let me know down below. But that is all I've got time for the Stardew Valley expansion showcase. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and do let me know about that series if you want to see it. We will continue the legacy with Sharket, and we'll do a brand new farm together. But thank you all so much for watching. Until then, I will see you on the next one. Stay safe, stay awesome, and peace! peace, peace, peace.